Hey everyone, so I'm here to show off this demo recording mod that I started back in May, then dropped off on about a week later, and just picked up again about last week. So it's at a point where it's fully usable with just a controller. You don't have to like, you know, do file renaming or anything crazy like that. So you can just like create a bunch of replays one after the other. So I'm going to show off some cool stuff. So what you do in order to record a demo is you hold the X button as you select a stage from stage select. And that will dump you into recording mode. You'll see that the title card doesn't appear. It just throws you straight in kind of like you restarted. So this is using a mostly unmodified version of the inbuilt recording functionality already in SA2 that's used in the uh, debug menu. You can even use it on like uh, the console versions, though you know you can't like save files on there. But what it will do is it will spit out a recording at the end that is the same format that is used on the title screen, you know, attract mode recordings. So if for example you told the title screen, hey, uh, play a demo that's on Metal Harbor, you could, you know, throw in this recording that I'm making right now and it would play it with no other weird... Well, it would... It might need some modifications, like if you die. Because there's a limitation in the original where if you die or, you know, if you press start, it exits the level. So I had to do some patches to make that work. So, yeah. There's my Metal Harbor gameplay. Hope you enjoyed it. Now let's show off what's going to happen. This here is a folder inside of the SA2 install folder, resources, GDPC folder. I made a folder in here called demos, and this is where it will save your demos by default. You might have noticed that these two files just got created at uh, 9.41 p.m. Yep. So this here is the uh, actual replay file, and this here contains some information that will eventually be used for, like, correctly handling, you know, it will automatically give you the upgrades that you need. Right now it doesn't do it, but it will eventually do it. It'll save what character you're playing as. Um, it saves what level that the replay is associated with. And that's needed to populate a list of replays when you select a level. It will save what frame count uh, you entered it on in order to correctly handle RNG. And this here is just the associated bin file. So here, let me show you how you go and play back a file. So what I'm going to do is let me pull up the inputs. I'm going to hold the Y button as I select the stage I want to play a replay on. So from what you can see here, it prints out in this console window some information about the currently selected replay. So I can scroll down and uh, it'll go through all the replays for Metal Harbor on here. It doesn't separate by mission yet. I'll implement that also. So the one that we just made should be Yes, this one. So you can see this is the exact same gameplay that we just did. Down to every little mistake and everything. Let me talk about some limitations while this is playing. Uh, again, right now it doesn't really handle RNG yet, which hopefully that'll be as simple as just giving it the right, you know, frame that you entered the level in at because you know the RNG seed gets reset every time you load a level so that should be pretty easy to implement um, it does not work with route 101 I don't know why it just crashed at the end of the level um, other limitations it maybe about 10% of the time the replay uh, goes out of sync. 
I'm not 100% sure why it does that, but it it does. I've had a couple replays I've tried to make. In fact, uh, this is actually... I've tried recording this a couple times, and the very first time that I uh, got to this point without, like, flubbing my words or whatever, the replay just was out of sync. So, <laughs> it's far from perfect. But, um... See cool applications of this, obviously, documenting ILs, um, you know, being able to re-record your ILs at like higher resolutions or something. Um, maybe you could make like some like continuous integration stuff where you feed like an input file to a server and then it'll like spit out, yeah, you made it to the end of the level, congrats. So <laughs> that'd be super duper cool. And something I would be interested in to looking into at some point. Uh, so here I can show off. Uh, in case you're wondering, and like, oh, is it actually loading from that file and not just using the inbuilt like specific, you know, memory region for like replays? Uh, here is a replay that I made earlier today of Final Rush. Uh, this is gonna be me getting fast FR. And getting like a 118 or something. Not 118, 108. Uh, other things that you might care about. Uh, pause hovers do work. And like, a, you know, with Sonic and Tails. So it's not just like, a, yeah, so both of those work as intended. Um... You can press the pause button while a replay is playing, but that will cause it to go out of sync. I do want to figure out why that happens, because if we can figure out why that happens, maybe we can make a way to like seek through replays, sort of. Uh, it might be a little bit funny, but we could probably make it work. Maybe if we like a uh, in another file, we can create like um some save states or something like every five seconds like some keyframes that'd be super cool yeah so there is my final rush gameplay from earlier today and as you can see from the input thing there were no uh no inputs made this is me but there were no inputs made during the actual thing so i hope you enjoyed and uh as far as a release date I will not be able to work on this for the next two weeks, so I'm going to have a break. Uh, in about two weeks, I'm going to hop on here and start uh, fixing up a couple things, and I hope to have like something that people can you know, touch and mess with by the end of the year, and I'll have like the source code uploaded with all this mess that I made. <laughs> uh, yeah, so that's it. See you.